Hi, I'm Kelly Danielson. We're here at the Green Renaissance Festival talking to Gordon Westfall about marketing sustainability. Hi, Gordon. How are Hi. you doing? Thank you so much. I'm doing well. Good. Can you tell us a little bit about what we're doing here today? Well, you know, as a nonprofit, we produce a cable television show called Sustainable Today, which is what we're here doing right now, uh, filming for that show. But that's only one thing that we can do to, to get to the people. What we feel is coming to these kinds of events gives us a one-on-one -on -one interaction. We can get up close and personal with people and have dialogue and communication. We can ask questions, we can answer questions, and really get to the heart of what sustainability and self-sufficiency really is and what it means to the average person out on the street. What we do is we bring you the tools to be sustainable today, not tomorrow. And uh, basically, we are a 501c3 here in Oregon City, Oregon, Portland, metropolitan area. What we really need to start doing is looking at the mindset. We need to start looking at the habits people are doing and how, what they're eating and how they're functioning in society. So got together with a number of people in the nonprofit, and I came up with the Circle of Sustainable today. How do I start with this? It starts with you. What you have to do is plug into your community. You need to tune in to what's going on around you. We really want to get you to know your neighbor. In order to do this, you have to have outreach projects. So what we did is we have an Atkinson Park Chemical Free Park. I've been at Pullen Ivy for about 10 years. I can reach in and, you know, dig down and find the sprout and, and stuff like that. So the reason why the Center for Sustainable Today has taken on this project with Atkinson Park is that we feel strongly that our kids and the animals that we have we should make sure that they have a place to go, that we don't have to worry about them having chemicals uh, in their systems or being you know, susceptible to any of these harmful chemicals. So what we've done is we've taken it upon ourselves to bring it, come in and prevent chemicals from being sprayed in this park. No herbicides, no pesticides in this park whatsoever. We want the city to say, you have a green space as long as you do the work. They were spraying around the edges. And I would go, when I saw them, I would tell them to stop because I have cats. Um, and there's deer in here. There's, uh, it's a shame to have them spray. I think it's wonderful what you're doing. One more thing that we do is the festivals and events. And we do a monthly fundraiser and a viewing party. It's called the Sustaining Cascadia Convergence. And what we did is we started at the Marriott. We served a three-course vegan organic dinner. It was all local products. We had Bill Bradbury and Mike Burnett, the, the president of Climate Trust, came in and spoke. And what we did is we uh, showed the Sustainable Today show that Bill Bradbury was on and Mike Burnett about climate change. So what the Sustaining Cascadia Convergence does is it, we bring those people to you. I want to start, I want to just give you uh, uh, some slides that we've developed specifically for Oregon relating uh, to climate change. And start with Mount Hood, which is our favorite mountain near here, as we all know. Uh, that's the White River Glacier in 1902, and that's the White River Glacier uh, in uh, 2001. And it's, there's been a 61% shrinkage of the White River Glacier. Every month, on the second Saturday of every month, we have the Sustaining Convergence, so you can go to our website and check that out. And the Midsummer's Green Festival is an annual fundraiser, just like this. It's an annual fundraiser. This is a trade show for local businesses, and it's a great opportunity to come in and listen to music. And really, the ultimate thing, what we're trying to do is, we're trying to get you to understand that sustainability and self-sufficiency is really fun. It tastes great, and it's fun to be a part of. Well, Gordon, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today about the center, and good luck in the future. Thanks so much. Thank you. I'm Kelly Danielson, bringing you the tools to be sustainable today.